we're being asked to solve this equation. Uh, it has a square root here, so maybe a good first step is to square both sides so that we can get rid of the square root. So let's do it. So if we square the left-hand side, we just get log x. And this whole thing here is squared. And then we'll square the right-hand side as well. So square root, log x. And this whole thing here is squared. So on the left-hand side, we just get log x, quantity squared. And on the right-hand side, the square root goes away. So we just get log x. This is really a quadratic equation in log x, so let's set it equal to zero. So log x squared minus log x, and this is equal to zero. Factor out a log x. So here we get log x minus one equals zero, and that checks, right? Log x times log x is log x squared, and log x times minus one is minus log x. We have a product, it's equal to zero, so we can set each piece equal to zero, each factor equal to zero. So log x equals zero, and over here we get, or log x minus one equals zero. So we have log x, equals zero, and then here we have log x equals one. Log x has a base of 10, so let's exponentiate both sides using a 10. That, that 10 should be, yep, looks a little funny there. Let me fix the zero, there we go, There, that looks better. <laughs> so this is just gonna be x, and 10 to the zero is one, and this is just gonna be x, and 10 to the zero is 10. And you can check uh, both of these answers should work out.